Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This is a nice little seed actually. It's got a great maypole, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And it's got bosses that are fairly close together that are in sequential order. So you're going to get Ichthyr, Elder, and Bone Mass, and Motor, and Yagloth, and the Queen. Um, it, there's a little little bit of maneuvering you have to do, but it's it's laid out pretty good. I think this is going to be a nice seed. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. Here's a maypole. Um, nice little location here on, on some water. Uh, you've got a little river inlet here with some necks, which is cool. Uh... You know, you've always got a little couple of piggies running around. You got a little pig, pig pen right over here if you want it. Um, one building, which is okay, it's enough. Some wood resources, uh, and a couple of raspberry bushes. I mean, in and of itself, it's not a remarkable maypole village. However, that's open ocean, and this is a nice little location here. It's nice and open. Okay, you got a nice oak tree over here to the right. Um, again, you've got that river got a stone over there. I don't think that's a boar stone. But let's confirm it. Yeah, no, that's not a boar stone. Um, it, it's a nice maypole location. I mean, it's set back, so, you know, you can build a little um, comfort area there and then build out towards the ocean. And there you go. Uh, not too bad. Not super fantastic here. But the, the strength of this seed is going to be not only this nice maypole location this is pretty good i mean i think you can have a nice build here especially you've got plenty of resources is next here there's a deer spawn over there you've got the boars um a couple of raspberries nothing great uh this is a nice little start area for your playthrough so it, it, the ocean though it, it, you've got quick access to the ocean which is great and you're not going to have to sail too far on this seed so let's take a look at the seed discovery map and see what we got so here's the spawn here is the maypole now I, i'm pretty sure you can swim this I just for full disclosure i've i've went into cheat mode and flew over okay but i'm pretty sure you can swim up here um that's a nice little location right here because you can see you're pretty open to the ocean, okay? Um, which is great. And then uh, your starter spawn, you've got, you know, a black forest. You've got a mountain biome here as well. So you got some resources, but it's the bosses. You've got Ichthyr on your start, okay? Then you've got Motor here. Hop over to Bone Mass, then Motor. Then Yagloth and the Queen. Um, again, they're not all on the same island, uh, continent. I mean, it's not going to be a speed run for you. But it, that's pretty good order. I mean, that one of the things that I look for when I'm doing a seed is, number one, I look for good maypoles locations. Number two, I look for good boss locations that have all of the requisite resources around it that I need. But the third thing I look for is, is are they scattered? Are they all over the place? Are they in order? This one's actually laid out pretty good for you. I mean, you can run to this elder from the spawn. You can get to this bone mass from, from here. I, I don't know if you're going to be able to sail across this little stretch, but it's not that bad. Um, then there's the, you know, you run up here and here's motor and then run up here here's Yagloth and then you've got the Queen I think that's pretty solid trader it's okay uh, it, it would be great if the trader was down here somewhere that would make the seed that would add a half a point to the seed right now I've got it at about an eight and a half that would make it a nine if the seed if the trader was a little closer you could run down to this trader here um, I for me, I think what I'm going to do is put one up here because that's going to give me... I always build a portal and a little base around the trader. That's going to give me um, a, a, at least a, a beginning portal into Yagloth and the Queen, right? So that's nice. Um, 
it would be bad if the trader was like scattered all over the map to the north excuse me to the west etc um but it's still in 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 succession we're going northeast here uh, now you can go down south. There's a couple of bosses down here, and that may be a play for you. There's definitely um, this trader here would open that up. Um, you know, you've got an elder bone mass, another elder Yagloth. The problem is the motor down to the southern play, but there is a south play if you want it. For me, I'm going to the northeast though. So I think we've got pretty good boss succession here. We've got a decent trader. It's not. Super, super close, the, the one in the clump of bosses. However, this trader down here on the water is, you can run to it. So you can get there early game if you want. And you can, um, getting through this swamp early game might be a little bit of a pain. But you've got, you can technically, if you want, you can go through this meadows and go around it. Because um, sometimes early game, if you're running through a swamp to get to like a trader or a maypole or some location, those um, Draugr archers can just ruin your day. So, But anyways, there's a way around that. So bosses and traders, okay, not bad. Now, what we want to see, though, around the bosses, do we have the requisite um, crypts, caves, etc., resources that we need in that biome to complete that? location so let's look at tombs and crypts um, as you can see here this elder is th there's none right around the elder spawn but there's plenty of tombs and crypts here okay this is a decent elder okay the bone mass up here it's not so good however a little bit more to the north and there's plenty of tombs and crypts here all right so what we want to, what we would want to see is, is this bone mass. If it was surrounded by crypts, that would be fantastic. We want to see the same thing for elder. Neither of these are spectacular. The elder is a little bit better than the bone mass. But the good news is, is we're heading this way northeast and north, yeah, northeast anyways. Um, and you've got a motor over here. You, you're going to be able to tap these uh, sunken crypts here in this biome in this swamp biome and your bone mass is there so i think for your first two ma major bosses elder and bone mass these two plays are decent okay now again if we look to the south these these bought the elder and bone mass are a little bit better but I, I still think the play is to the northeast here and so that's the early game but you know ichthyr is ichthyr you don't really, there's nothing really that you need around Ichthyr. You can beat Ichthyr with a stone axe if you if you kite a little bit. So I consider Elder and Bone Mass the early game. Um, so I think we're okay there. Now, let's take a look at Motor. Motor is the beginning of, I consider Motor in the Mountains the middle game. Um, but that's just me. Let's look at Frost Caves. Not bad. Uh, five of them right there is okay. Now, what's notable is, is you've got one close to the motor spawn. Just so you know, uh, motor does a lot of projectile uh, attacks, right? And it, she will destroy stone. So you can't just hide behind any stone that you want. However, you can hide in the frost cave entrances. She cannot destroy those. And... If you get really, really damaged or really, really hurt, you can duck into the frost cave and regen. Um, you can also drop stuff in the, in the entrance as you first get into the frost cave. Just drop a whole bunch of materials there that you think you may need to fight her. Um, you know, it, there you go. You can also build a portal right there as well. So um, if you're lucky, she's not going to hit the portal. And if you die, you can just port back. So... We'd like to see more frost caves here, but it's a decent motor location. And I'm not seeing, you know, the other motors are, you know, to the south. These are better motor locations because of the frost cave distribution. This is the motor play for the seat, though. Five should be enough for a solo playthrough, even a duo. If you've got, um, you know, like a group or you're playing on a server, you may want more materials out of these caves. Um... You know, you're going to have to go explore a little bit. But decent motor there. Let's take a look at the 
um, eggs quickly, make sure we've got enough. Um, uh, there's enough, so you need three to spawn motor. Um, what you want to see is at, at least three eggs are on the motor spawn because you got to drag them up and they're heavy. So, again, it would be great if they were closer, but close enough. They're in the biome. So, again, a solid mountain biome here. You've got everything that you need. You've got the frost caves. You've got um, the eggs. And you're probably going to find silver in there, too. Now, there's one other thing, the tetra lakes. There is one tetra lake here. The tetra lake is where it's a rare fishable lake found in frost caves. Tetra fish are found there. So that's pretty cool because there's not, you don't, always get that in every mountain biome okay as you can see there's a couple here but um if that's something that you're interested in as well you've got that here so very solid motor location which is nice we want to see that let's investigate yagloth and see how this yagloth location is doing so we want to again see a bunch of totems around the yagloth it's okay um, we're going to need five, and there's five, um, well, there's six, really, camps on this plains. Now, this is actually a fairly good-sized plains. The good news is, is you've got more camps over here. So, remember, the, the play is to the northeast. You've got an elder bone mass and motor here. You're probably going to have a portal base somewhere around here. You're going to be able to probably get your totems before you even get to Yagloth up here. You may not even need to get up, up around this biome. Uh, you may just be coming here just to hit Yagloth. As the planes go, this is actually a very good planes layout. You've got, it looks like, 10 to 15 totem camps all within proximity of Yagloth. This is actually pretty good. So let's re well actually let's look at the tar pits for a minute and this is for you know to get your tar to get that aesthetic so you can do that build uh, plenty of tar pits. So what we're looking at here is is we've got a decent elder, we've got a, a decent bone mass, we've got a, a, a pretty good motor and a pretty good yagloth right away. Uh, you know we, we've got four bosses right away that are pretty solid. Um, which is good and you know now we're at the queen at the end game and the queen is again in succession to where we're going to go now there's plenty of mist mist lands here the good news is is you've got some black forest right by this queen so if you don't want to base up in the mist lands that's cool if you want to just build a portal over here that's fine some people don't like the mist lands at least from what i'm seeing on like the reddits and some discords um it's just not their cup of tea, which is cool, whatever. Um, but, you know, obviously we want to see the same thing around the, around the queen. We want to see the Diverga buildings, the skulls, swords, and the seeker spawns. And this queen location is okay. You're going to have to really invest in exploring this Mistlands to get all of the resources out of the Mistlands it's available to you. However, right by the Yagloth over here, there's plenty. Okay. Um, again, we've got a solid boss location, which has all of the requisite um, resources that we need to complete the biome. Okay. So uh, that's one of the reasons I'm doing the seed is, is because it's not just a good maypole location. You know, maypole on the ocean. Uh, where you can build a, a nice big complex. Uh, you know, we've got that, but we've also got a successive order of bosses that are fairly decent in terms of their resource disbursement. This is like an eight and a half for me. The, again, it, 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 it would be a nine if we had a better trader location. This isn't a horrible trader location. It's right in the middle of three of your, you know, three bosses you, you would have done the elder by the time you got up here usually um but yeah i think overall it's decent now let's take a look at some of the ancillary stuff that we want to know about we want to know about leviathan so we can get our chitlin for our abyssal harpoon there's one right off the coast here 
nothing real close. It'd be great if there were a bunch, a couple right here. If you're doing a solo play, you really only need two, maybe probably two Leviathans to get your Abyssal Harpoon, which is what you want. Um, you know, group playthrough, you're going to have to get on a boat and go find them. There's a couple around. There's a big cluster over here, but, um, you know, you're going to have to navigate. But that's, that's actually a lot. There's six right in that area. It's quite a bit. Let's take a look at beehives. It's something that you want to grab um, when you first spawn in. Now, surprisingly, this seed doesn't have a lot of beehives. Which is odd. Most, <laughs> uh, a, a lot of the seeds that I've looked at, it, it, they're flush with bees. Now, there's enough here. You don't need more than four, four queen bees. But if you, you know, if you've got a big community or you're doing, you know, a group playthrough, you may want to have more. Everybody may want to have, you know, three or four themselves so they can brew their own stuff. The beauty of queen bees is, is once you get them, they start producing honey. Honey is a great early food form. You can use it all the way through um, the Black Forest. And then later you're going to use it to brew um, potions, etc. Honey at some point is going to create surpluses for you. You're not going to need it anymore. So, uh, you know, uh, some people create huge bee farms, which is great. But, you know, you're just going to have honey, so much honey, you're not going to have anything to do with it. You're not gonna. There's not gonna. There's only so much you can do with honey. So you're at the spawn. I would grab two or three of these. Get to your maypole. Grab this one up here. Three or four is fine. That's all you really need. Um, what else can I show you? Let's see. Structure shipwrecks. Where are the piggies? Useful runes. Uh, there's none really up here by the maypole. Um. That could be a problem because boars early on are a great food source. In addition to that, you do need the boar meat to make certain recipes going forward. Um, you're going to want to get those piggies that are in the starter village. Like I always recommend, when you get to a maypole, there's usually a couple of boars running around just like they are in every village. Get a pen set up quickly. Get them domestic, you know, get them in there, start domesticating them. Um, even if they're zero stars, it's better than better than having to go out and hunt them. Because you, you'll find them, but you want to be able to produce your own food. And you want to be able to, to extract from them the resources you need when you want them. You know, early in my Valheim playthroughs, one of the things that I got burned on was I didn't have the whole... Um, cultivation aspect set up correctly in terms of, you know, I, I just went out and got stuff when I needed it. And, you know, when I needed a couple of um, items to, to make higher level recipes, I had to go farm them up and it just was a time sink. So don't be, don't do that. Uh, you know, get the boars domesticated because you don't have any boar stones around you. But I think that's about it. So as Maypole locations go. Um, it's, you know, a, a decent place to start. I think this would be a great place for a, a, a new a, a new playthrough. Um, I think this would be great for a new player. Um, I don't know that this would be great for a group play or a server play. However, it wouldn't be horrible, meaning this location alone would be great for a massive, like, complex. Okay. Um, I could see like a big stone castle with maybe the maypole in the middle as a as a garden area or whatever, and then you've opened up into the ocean where people can sail out with a big port right here um, or a portal hub or whatever. So in that sense, I think a good group play would be you know would be cool here, and then people can base up their own little huts wherever they want. Um, the bosses are in such a a good order here that. It's going to make for a quicker playthrough. So this may be good for an experienced Valheim player. Anyways, that's the presentation today. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this particular seed discovery. Um, is this something that you would play? I think I would probably play this. Um, this would be a good little seed, I think, for a solo playthrough. I would play it, but would you? Let me know in the comments below really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. Thank you. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. 
All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.